take his posture. My hand goes in the collar. And now he postures up, and I can't control him. He breaks right out of this grip. Okay? I can't allow this distance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my hands to one side. I'm going to fan to the other side, and I'm going to sit up. And I need to get on my hand. I need to get on my hand. I can't be on my elbow. If I'm on my elbow, he's just going to push me right back down to my back. I have to get on my hand. So if he pushes me, I can stay. I can continue to, to base with my hand behind me. Okay. Now, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get my armpit over his shoulder. And I'm cupping his elbow because when I sweep him to my left, he's going to want to put this hand down on the mat. So I have to hold it in. My hips go to his hips, and now all I'm doing is looking behind me. Boom, 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 boom. And I sweep him, fan sweep him right into mount. Okay? You can't do this when their posture is down. If, I, if it, like put your hands on the mat, come down. I can't do it here. I can't get up high enough to twist him. He's just going to drive me right back down to the mat. If he's down like this, and I can't, you know, submit, I'm going to work for scissor sweep. Boom. Because he's already long, you know, he's already spreading his base out. Where I normally load him up, he's done that for me. It's when they're back, they're, they're, they're playing back, they're being, uh, you know, he's kind of retracting, he's not playing in the game. Then I'm gonna have to go to him. Here, here, open it on my hand, hips to hips, block his arm, look behind me, boom, sweep him out. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Right until I'm generating this momentum, I'm coming up, then I can open. Now when I go for it, he's gonna push me to the mat, but he's gonna drop, drop his hands to the mat when he does that. He's pushing me over this chest. When he does that, guys, I see his wrist. All I'm going to do is drop to my elbow and let my palm find his wrist as I fall back. Right there. I'm just stopping it where it's at. I'm not trying to grab it necessarily or push it anywhere. I'm just stopping it. So as he continues to push, I'm weaving my hand over and I'm locking. Look, and as I do that, see this? When this hand comes down, I'm pulling him towards me and already pushing his wrist up. So I'm already clearing and locking his arm. And look, this space I've created. This distance between my elbow and my wrist off the mat, I'm going to put my hips right in that area. Escape my hips out from underneath him, and I'm almost facing him with my leg heavy on his back, controlling his posture. Now here, I'm pulling my forearm at the same time behind his shoulder as I'm sliding his wrist up my thigh, and then I get the tap. Come on, okay? So again, I come up with the fan sweep. He pushes. All I'm doing is finding. Look, and I'm escaping my hips. Whatever I got to do to find his wrist. And now here, I pull him onto me as I push his wrist, making it easy to lock up, escape my hips out from underneath him, face him heavy on his back to control the posture, pull his shoulder back as I push his wrist up. Make sense? Yeah, we did this Wednesday in Yogi, but then we were grabbing them. We were actually grabbing the wrist, I thought, then on Wednesday. What do you mean? Um, like, instead of just, like instead of just blocking the wrist, we were actually yeah. cupping it. Sa same up. thing. Okay. I mean, same thing. Right. I just don't want you guys like, reaching too much okay. to grab stuff all the time. Just all right. kind of flowing. You know, if you just block it as you pull him, it's going to pop right into your hand and up. Is he going to roll to his back and try to release pressure at that point? He could. He could. If I, if, look, if I locked up the Kimura and didn't clo have my leg over his back, that's yeah. why we did. He could roll over, you know, roll over his shoulder and roll out Kimura. But here, it stops that. Okay. So now he can't go anywhere. Okay. When he pushes me back down to the mat, he keeps his hands on my body. As he's driving me back. So look, quickly, I'm going to escape my hips back. I'm just sitting back to create a little space to loop around his head, cup his chin. Just grab his chin for now, okay? All you're doing is chin strap, they call it, like a football helmet. My hand's cupping his chin. It's very powerful, by the way, because anytime I control his chin, I control his head, and I can move him. Now as he continues to push into me, this hand, the reason why I escape my hips back, so in that brief moment I can get this hand between my chest and his shoulder, grab over the top of my hand, just like that, guys, okay? Just over the top of my hand, and as he falls into me, I'm closing my guard, I'm extending my hips away as I pinch my right elbow and roll my hands right here into his throat. So, man, back up. So, as he's pushing me back down, I escape, Chin strap, this hand gets in quick, guillotine. I'm grabbing the top of my hand as we fall, and as I'm doing this, I'm rolling my fingers up into his throat and extending him away. Okay, I'm doing this, elbow tight, and extending, pulling his head towards me as I push his hips away. Guillotine, listen, I will say this. I don't teach guillotines in any school I've been in because, uh, not that they're not effective, but they're so easy and, and, 
and pop up so frequently that schools where they attack guillotines, that's all they have. That's all they have because that's all, all white belts do is someone brings a head, I try to guillotine, guillotine, guillotine. And what I've seen is guys who do that, you know, that you do well as a beginner, especially competing, but over time, the rest of your game is deficient because you're always hunting for a guillotine. So then you, you're, everything else, you know, never gets developed as it should. So I don't like necessarily teaching a lot of guillotines to beginners because that's all they look for. And the rest of their game suffers. So it's usually later they teach guillotines because they're so easy. It's, you know, you can add them in a day. So this is one. You'll see when you grab someone's head, boom. You know, one thing, again, it's not just pulling and squeezing, grabbing your hand and rolling, almost rolling your, your knuckles into their throat or trachea. You know, so be nice to each other, but we'll see what happens. So it's a throat choke, not a blood choke. Both. Okay. Both. 